Class D amplifiers and difficult speakers. Well, this question comes from Michael in Ithaca, New York, and he writes, Dear Paul, the MagnaPan website suggests that choosing a Class AB amplifier over a Class D amplifier for driving their speakers uh, states that some Class D amplifiers sound very poor with their speakers. Is this still a concern with modern Class D designs from respected audio manufacturers like PS Audio or NAD? No, it is not. And I wouldn't worry about it, though Class D certainly has a bad reputation <laughs> and much of it is well deserved, to be quite honest. I mean, some, gosh, you, you, you know, we've talked about this before. You can go on Amazon and buy a Class D amplifier, 50 watt a channel, uh, for, for under $50. And I got to tell you, that thing sounds like dog do. It's, it's really nasty. Now, no one is going to hook a $50 amplifier up to a pair of magnet planers. And magnet planers, one of the reasons that they print that stuff is they're one of the companies out there who have a, I have a great deal of respect for. Magna planer, magna pans, they're out of Minnesota. They are great people. They make a great loudspeaker, even though a lot of people don't want them in their homes because they're kind of big and they're a little bit intrusive. But I love magna planers. I absolutely adore them. They're great speakers, great people. And like any great speaker, it is very resolving. So if you have a magna planer, you're going to hear everything that amplifier is capable of and everything that amplifier is not capable of. It's a revealing speaker. And we've talked about high resolution speakers, revealing speakers before. You know, I, I know that we've talked about that a lot. So when you have a highly resolving transducer like a magnet planer, you're gonna wanna be careful of what you hook up to it. So go with a trusted brand, PS Audio, NAD. Those are two great brands that are gonna give you great performance on a resolving speaker. And how do you know that? Well. I can't say about NAD, I know they're a good company. New Acoustic Dimensions. Yeah, uh, I, I remember some of this stuff. <laughs> I, you know, in fact, let me think, what do I know about them? Their whole pitch at one point was, if I remember right now, I could be wrong, but they were a British design company that went over to China and had everything made. And their idea was make things that were inexpensive, but designed in, in Britain by people who really cared. And I think maybe it's a Canadian company. I, I don't remember. But anyway, good company. They care. And, but let's take PS Audio, for example. You know that what you're going to get from us in terms of an amplifier on your speakers is going to work well because we have resolving speakers. Everything we design and build here is vetted. It's taken and auditioned and listened to on one of the most resolving speaker systems in the world, the Infinity IRS-5, of which people who show up here for tours, which I encourage people to do all the time, when you show up for a tour, you're going to hear the IRS-5. It's one of the most resolving, high-fidelity loudspeaker systems in the world. Any, anything, any small nuance you're going to hear on that speaker system. So when we take a new design and we put it there, if we hear anything wrong, if we hear things that aren't right, it's fixed immediately and that has to pass that test. So when you put it on your magna planers, you know it's gonna be good. And if you don't have resolving speakers, then you don't care, it's gonna work great. <laughs> so my advice, well my advice is buy PS Audio. <laughs> Shameless plugs, buy my book, 99% True, it's a good read. You know, I've sold like 6,000 of these books. Just kind of cool. I'm, thank you. I really appreciate that. But anyway, no shameless plugs. Pick a company that you know their values. So if you want to go buy a B&W pair of loudspeakers, or you want to buy a pair of this or that, just do a little bit of research and see what they talk about. See who they are. If they are a company that also believes in designing their equipment on highly resolving 
reference speakers if it's an electronic company, or they use highly resolving electronics if they're a speaker company, then you know you're in pretty good hands. Now it comes down to a matter of personal taste. How is that synergy going to work on your system? I happen to know, because I'm a Maggie lover, that ours is going to work great. But I think that's in general what you want to try and do. So hopefully that helps. I will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Okay, thanks for the question. Bye. Thank you.